Hello everybody, what is up? This is Richie here and today I have something very very cool to show you guys and that is a very highly efficient mob spawner in Minecraft. Now we have not had this thing running for long but it is already creating just a ton of drops for us and um, this may not seem like a lot if you've seen the big mob spawners but what you have to know is that this it's only one layer it's tiny compared to one to most mob spawners and it's also stackable so if we make us a bunch of these layers we can get a very very efficient spawn rate and there are a few ways we do this the first way is obviously just covering a lot of area and then pushing mobs out and obviously that will um, that's how you make mob spawners. But what we do here is we have this side activate and this side deactivate, and then we switch it. I hope that makes sense so that mobs can spawn while other mobs are getting flushed out, and vice versa. And we don't have that wait um, between cycles of mob spawning, and that way we can spawn mobs very, very fast, which makes this layer just flush out all the mobs very very fast and spawn new more mobs very fast like look we we have just these from just that little trip down and now they're going out and if we were far away more mobs would spawn here I'm sorry that I can't talk today but that's how it works and then I'm, this, I'm not gonna have a tutorial today I'm afraid I really don't have the time it's 11 o'clock I'm really tired I need to go to bed, I need to go to school in the morning, but I'm just going to show you how this works, and I'll have a tutorial out in the morning. So we have our standard hopper clock right here. I have 16 items in it, and then on one side we have a dispenser, and on the other side we have redstone. Not a dispenser, sorry, a repeater. And on the other side we have redstone, and we have this linked up to all of our outputs. Now two outputs, we just have repeaters going down and powering the dispensers with water buckets in them obviously and the other outputs go into redstone torches so that they activate at the opposite time and then if we look down here I'll just give you the measurements for this platform it's from the center yeah I mean in the center we have a 3 by 3 um, square space and then you go out 8 and basically from this side from this block right here you're gonna go out 7 this way and 7 that way and connect it all and you're gonna do the same thing with all of these and you can stack this obviously if you want to and I think it's pretty self-explanatory how you would stack this you just build it up but yeah I just wanted to show you guys this I know I didn't do the tutorial, I wanted to do a tutorial, but I've been very busy. I'm sorry my upload schedule has been just a little shaky in the past few days, but um, yeah, we're going to get through it and we're going to keep creating more videos. So if you want to see more awesome videos like this, consider subscribing, consider liking this video if you want to see this as a tutorial. But yeah guys, this has been Richie. And I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed.